Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. Today we are going to learn how to create a sample test and test case and execute it. These are all the steps we need to follow in order to create a test and test case and execute. The first step is we have to create a Java project, then we have to create the package, then we have to create the test and test case. After that, we have to add the test ng library files then write the business logic and finally execute the test ng test case six steps we need to follow it i will explain one by one practically first open the eclipse after that click on file new java project we know the rs guidance has project name then click on next then finish the java project is created the next step is we have to create the package name for that right click new package the package name test ng programs then click on finish two step is completed the third step is we have to create the test ng test case for that right click then you can see the test ng in the test ng you have to select the create test ng class now you will get a pop up it is automatically selected the source folder package name because i have right clicked in this particular position then we have to give the class name first test ng program and uh, there is a two way in which execution can be done one is using the class file another one using the XML file. So it is always a good practice when we create the test ng class parallelly create the XML file also. The file name is demo.xml. Here you can see so many annotations. We will be seeing each annotation one by one in upcoming videos. As of now, once you enter the XML file name, just click on finish. Now you can see a package name test ng program and a class file called first test ng program is created this is the sample test ng program now you can see some warning messages because the required library files are not mapped how to map that just move the cursor above this particular line you can see add test ng library just click on test ng library now you can see the test ng library files are uploaded that's why the error message is gone this is the sample test ng program few things you have to remember in test ng class there is no need to have a main method they can be executed directly because in selenium we will have public static void main method but in test ng program there is no need of main method and second thing is every business logic needs to be mentioned as method here you can see public void f method there are two types of method one is the method which returns the value another method is which doesn't returns the value which we say it as void method so you must know that oops concept how to create a method how to pass the values and how to take the values from the method these are all the basic things you must know it in order to work in the test engine and third thing is annotation needs to be mentioned before each method we have many annotation in this example a test annotation is used in case if this annotation is not mentioned then this method will not be executed whatever i have explained now we will see it practically first one is i will rename this method for better understanding first method this out i am going to print a value first method is executed how to execute the test ng program it is very simple run run as test ng just executed this is an output in the console you can see the first method this particular method is passed and the output message is first method is executed now same way i am going to create a, another method and execute it at test annotation public void again method then the output message is second method is executed 
you can create n number of methods as per your business requirement now let me execute again run run as test ng the program is executed see first it executed the first method then it executed the second method in case we created a third method but we didn't mention the at test annotation then that particular method will not be executed i will show it with an example same way i have created another method called third method but i didn't mention the annotations now we will execute and see what it will happen you can see the results file only two method is executed and the third method is not executed it means that if you are not mentioning the annotation that particular method will not be executed one of the best advantage of uh, test ng framework is it will automatically create the output results file for that right click on your java project and just refresh it you can see the output file here you can see index.html where we can see the results file here two method is executed the first method second method and you can see how long it took totally 13 seconds in order to execute this particular program and if you want to email your report this particular file you can use it to send it to others double click and this is the another format to view our results file and this can be emailed to others now you can understand what is a big advantage of using the test ng framework there is no need to write additional code for creating the port let us see a quick recap the first we have created the java project after that we have created the package third step we have created the test ng class the fourth step we added the test ng library after this we added each methods and then executed the method without annotation will not be executed after that the report files just by refreshing you will get the latest report file two type of reports one you can see it here another one is emailable report in upcoming session we will be seeing each annotation one by one that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries or email me please don't forget to subscribe to get notification for each video uploads thanks for watching happy learning